It was a busy night in downtown Albuquerque as the governor's inaugural ball kicked off, but some unexpected visitors tried to crash the party. News 13's Emily Younger live at Civic Plaza where that protest just wrapped up. Emily? Aaron, the scene here is quiet now, but just a couple hours ago, dozens of people filled these streets carrying posters like this one, protesting against Governor Susana Martinez and her administration. New Mexico is dead last from education to jobs to police violence. And at the end of the day, we're just all a bunch of people deserving a little bit more than than what our government has provided for us. With signs, megaphones and drums in hand, protesters made their way through downtown Albuquerque tonight. It all started near Civic Plaza around 6 p.m. Dozens of people with Albuquerque Justice, a watchdog group against police violence and a pro-life group marched to the convention center where the governor's inaugural ball is taking place. The protesters goal tonight to let the governor know they're not happy with her and her administration. They say she's failed New Mexico in issues such as poverty, homelessness, education, and acknowledging APD's well-publicized track record of police violence. People attending the ball this evening, well, they weren't so enthused by the ruckus. Well, I have no idea what they're protesting tonight, but it's pretty ridiculous to, to be out here doing that. Now, the ball is expected to wrap up here in the next few hours. Police did show up to the demonstration this evening. Overall, it was a peaceful protest. Aaron. All right, Emily, thank you for that. Of course, Governor Martinez took the oath of office for the second time this morning in Santa Fe. During her speech, she told people education is one of her top priorities, and she.